I'm Noah Johnson for Low Man Kicks Ass 12. As seen in my previous videos, I'm a big fan of Nintendo. Especially one of their biggest successes, the Nintendo Wii, created in 2006. My Wii in 2008, I was pretty excited to play all their new games and let's try out all their neat features. And I know something that really bothered me. As I knew at the time, the, the new Nintendo Wii Remote was supposed to enhance gameplay and make the whole family get up and move. What about the package, right? I, I found out a shocking secret that kind of bothered me. That probably a lot of people a lot of probably also know. I want to start the question, is Nintendo becoming more and more gay? I first took out my... Nintendo Wii Remote, for the first time, it looked pretty great. I thought my time on there would be endless and, and last all the way to the end to the next system. And I did, with the standard Wii Remote. But then I realized something else, that the protection device on the outside un undoubtedly looked like a giant dick. At first I thought, it doesn't really matter, I mean, it's just to protect the Nintendo Wii Remote from falls and damages, right? But then, over the years, I kept on staring at it when I was pressing the A button and the other button on the top, such as the D-pad, A button, or the home and plus and minus buttons. But then, the little thing on the top of hand is sticking out like that, then. Why does Nintendo always have to act so gay? I like Nintendo for all the great games and all their success. But it's not the first time they've they've pulled off something that's really very gay. In the 1990s, Nintendo created their next home console, the Nintendo 64. First, the controller looks pretty normal. You know, it's the third appendage. When you try to access the control wheel, yeah, sometimes you have to hold it. Why is it longer? It looks like a dick. Super Mario 64 and Star Fox 64, I don't want to think it's my controller and some mother <laughs> dick. I don't. Okay, it's that simple. I may have the audacity to put a button on the back of that thing. Do you think I really want to put my hand back there? Really? I don't think so. When you're a casual player, it doesn't really matter that much, but when you come down to think about it, 10 years later, what does this controller look like to you? Back to the Nintendo Wii controller issue here, with its muffin top, if you will, and stop there. I added to certain games a block which you add on to the Wii Remote, which makes it even, that makes it look even longer. What it came up with? Do you see a problem here? I do. Japanese are so happy of the Wii success, that they got a boner. And they decided to give the boner to everyone else in the world that had a Wii. I mean, come on people. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's, that's how there is to it. I love Nintendo. Great games, great systems. They're very lot reliable. But then, there are a couple flaws in their controllers. There you go. This is No Man from No Man Kicks Ass 12 bringing you the scoop. And I am so out of here.